Hey guys, so today's video is gonna be another drugstore related video. How scandalous. So my last video was my favorite drugstore makeup products and I thought what better than showing you guys my favorite drugstore products and showing you how I use them in a video. So some of those same products are gonna make a reappearance in this tutorial and I'm gonna be using some other things as well. But for this look I wanted to do kind of more of an everyday natural, more natural look for me anyways using more nude colors. And when I say nude colors I don't mean that it's meant to look like I have no makeup on my face. I just mean the colors that I've chosen are more in that type of color category. So that can be different for everyone depending on your skin tone. So for example, uh, today on myself I used peach colors, some lighter cream shades, tan, beige tone. So just to give you an idea. So we're not using any neon blues or anything like that in this tutorial. So if you guys want to see exactly how I got this. Oh, I forgot to mention. Do you guys see my new makeup storage back there? I'm so excited. I posted a picture on Instagram and I finally got it all filled up with all of my products. I felt like a little leprechaun the other day filling up my makeup organizer with gold. In other words, makeup. So I'm sure I'll probably go into more depth with that and show you guys in more detail what I have going on in there in another video. But I just am so excited so I had to mention it. But anyway, back to the tutorial. If you guys want to see how I got this complete look from the face, the eyes, cheeks, lips, and even brows using drugstore products and just keep watching. More recently I have been skipping over a primer step and just going straight to foundation so that's what I'm doing today. And I'm using my Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Mousse Foundation and I wear shade 103 True Ivory. And I'm going to use this F80. This is a flat top kabuki brush just to blend that into the skin. Usually I like to, I really like to use the angled kabuki brushes. And a lot of times I'll just save my flat kabuki style brushes for my backups that I can use like when my other ones are dirty. But lately I've really been liking this one too. This is just the really, really popular flat top style that a lot of people like to use. So this foundation is really, really easy to blend into the skin, which is why I like to use it more for an everyday. So now I'm just going to color correct my dark circles using my trusty Maybelline Age Rewinds Brightening Concealer. This is the L'Oreal True Match Concealer, Super Blendable Liquid Concealer in Fairlight W123. We're not doing a ton with the lower lash line today, so I'm just going to go ahead and apply my concealer right now. And I've been totally obsessed with this brush lately. It's the Soft Blend E64, I believe. Yeah. Or no, F64. And I've just been really loving this for blending out my concealer. It works so, so well. And I'm going to take a little bit onto my eyelids just to kind of use as a base for my eyeshadow. Then I'm going to take whatever's left on that brush and just very lightly highlight certain areas of my face, so just the center of my forehead, down my nose. It's just going to be more of like a natural everyday highlight. One thing that I always find really helpful, and it's a step that I often forget to mention in my videos for some reason, is to set your eye primer or your eyeshadow base. So I'm just going to take some of my L'Oreal True Match Mineral Powder, and this is in W3. And you don't have to set your entire lid. You just want to lightly go over the crease area with a fluffy blending brush. Now onto the brows. You guys may remember a few years back I talked about the Maybelline Master Shape brow pencils and I really like these for filling in my brows. They're really easy to work with and this is the shade, this is blonde, so I'm going to use this to fill in the inner part of my eyebrows. And then for the rest I'm going to take another one in a different shade, a bit darker. This one is soft brown. I'm going to start off with another face powder. This one is just a touch darker. It's the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder in N5, which is true beige. I just want a really natural kind of a shadow in the crease, so it's not going to be super dark or anything. But it's just going to frame the eye. And 
Then you want to take a champagne or like a peach tone cream shadow and just apply that all over the lid and that is going to help our colors pop a little bit more. So I'm actually using this one by Maybelline. This is one of their color tattoos. This is called Barely Branded. The color tattoos can tend to set up pretty quickly so that's why I just like to blend them out just to avoid any blotchiness. For the majority of this look, I'm going to be using this gorgeous quad. This is one of the Maybelline Eye Studio quads, and this is called Barrett Buff, and this is from their new Spring 2014 collection. So I'm going to start off by taking this tan brown color right here on an E25 crease brush, and I'm using this brush because it's almost the exact shape that I want to place my eyeshadow, kind of in a square shape just in that outer corner so you can kind of get that shadow on one side of the brush and just press it right in and it makes it really easy. And I usually like to brush it more towards the center of the lid, especially down by the lash line right here. Just brush it more towards the center. Pull more of that color into the crease towards the top of your lid. I'm going to go back to that same E35 and brush around the edges of it. Kind of mush in the edges <laughs> to blend it out. So now I'm going to get a bunch of this peachy golden color on a shader brush and I'm packing that color all over the lid and I'm blending it over top of that brown. So brushing it back a little bit. And this is an E57 Firm Shader Brush. Just wanna connect that tan color and if it helps to wrap it around to the top, go ahead and do that. But you just wanna connect it down to the lower lash line. So I'm using my L'Oreal Smoldering, Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner. I'm just gonna do half, kind of a half liner today. And that's gonna make the look pop a little bit more but it's still gonna keep the eyes nice and bright. So I just very gently just kind of roll the eyeliner off the waterline when I get about halfway. So I'm actually going to use a highlight shade from a different quad. I'm going to use this one in the Taupe Tees quad from that same collection. And this one is just perfect. It's like a shimmery, creamy color and there's no sparkle in this one. Swirling it in a little circle all over that inner corner. Then I'm going to use my NYC liquid eyeliner and I'm going for just a very thin, very simple line on the upper lash line. So now I'm using another product that I talked about in my favorite drugstore beauty products video. This is the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Mascara. I'm going to be using false lashes today. You can already see that I have them on this eye. They are the Ardell Glamour Wispies, so you can totally skip false lashes if you want to. I just like to show you what it looks like with them to kind of give you the option. So I'm going to hold off on setting my foundation with a powder because I'm actually using the Sonia Kashuk undetectable cream bronzer and the color I'm using is warm tan. I'm going to use a big old synthetic brush to apply this. This is the F84. Now I do like to try my best to use a clean brush every time I use this product because otherwise, you know, if you're dipping back in, you can kind of get little fuzzies in there and like lint and cream bronzer boogers in there. So I like to try my best to use a clean brush every time. And you want to start off with a light hand because you can always add more little bit more difficult to take away. So I'm applying this to all of the same areas that I would a powder bronzer. Once you get the hang of it, it is really quite easy and it also looks so natural because a cream really gives that skin like look to you know your makeup so it can be even more easy to pull off than an actual powder bronzer. So I'm going to set the areas that I just applied my cream bronzer with a bit of a darker powder. I'm just going back to that same L'Oreal True Match powder that I used on the eyes. I'm going to apply that with an F10 powder blush brush. If you just use your regular face powder all over, that's fine too. It'll just kind of lighten it up a little bit, so I want to keep that depth. And then just to set the rest of my foundation, I'm using that same L'Oreal True Match mineral powder that I also used earlier in W3, uh, Nude Beige. Doing this also kind of helps to blend all of the face 
base products that we used. So everything just looks a little bit more like it belongs together. I'm starting to look a little bit more alive. So I'm gonna use this peach tone blush called Luminoso. This is one of the baked blushes by Milani. The Maybelline Master Highlight Highlighting Blush in Nude. I'm just gonna apply that right over top with this F25 brush. So I just filled in my lips with my favorite drugstore nude lip liner. This is the Rimmel Exaggerate Lip Liner in the color Innocent. And then I'm gonna use the Maybelline Lipstick in Blushing Beige. And then on top I just applied a little bit of this Maybelline Elixir Gloss. This is in the color Radiant Bloom. It's a really pretty color. I do like to add a little bit more of a pink touch when I do nude lips on myself just because I feel like it works a little bit better with my skin tone. So I hope you guys enjoyed this double dose of drugstore goodness between my last video and this tutorial. I just wanted to do something a little bit lighter using some more natural colors for every day. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye. Bye guys.